hello friends welcome to tutorial days and in this video I'm going to show you how to develop custom theme in Magento as you know there are a lot of Magento themes available but still sometimes you need to develop custom theme to re meet the requirement of your customer so step by step I will show you how to develop custom theme so first thing this is my uh, Magento folder and then you need to go to app and then to design and then front end so here you need to create one folder whatever name you want to provide here in my case I will name it tutorial race so as you can see this is capital letter T is capital naming convention is important okay so now create folder and then inside this just create the theme name so I'm just putting here simple now inside this we need to create three four files first will be theme.xml second one will be composer dot json and third one will be registration sun dot php so these are three uh, minimum files required to develop a custom theme later we will be adding more files and folder and inside theme dot xml we will put this code so the code here this is the code i will put this code inside description so that you can directly copy and paste but two things is very important here the first one is title you need to provide here some title and then parent so magento and then luma theme this is luma theme so there are two by default themes so either you, you can take this luma theme or you can take here blank so any one of you any one of these you need to take and remember this file here is parent theme okay and currently I will comment this later I will add this or let us keep what happens I will show you we need to create a own folder or media and inside that we need to put here preview file currently I'm not putting so what uh, Magento will do I will show you now this file is done now let's go to another file which is composer.json here the code we require where will be so if you want to check what to put in this composer dot json so let's go magento's blank theme so i will go to vendor and then magento magento is that yes this folder vendor and then magento in scroll down and you will see here theme and front end and blank inside this you can see here these three files theme.xml registration and composer now let's edit it and then just let's copy it the whole thing and now let's paste here and uh, here I need to tutorial days remember in this case we are not putting here capital T in composer.json you need to put here small and then inside this our theme name is simple that's it so these are the things we need to make changes and that's it now save changes after this let's open 
registration here and let's copy this as well and then uh, app design content tutorial is simple and then this time registration now it's placed here and two things you need to change here where it says magento tutorial is and here simple that's it now save it and then let's go to dashboard okay so when it, when i refreshed i got this error because in preview i had not put image so now let's if you want to check what went wrong then you can go back here and then you go to where and inside this report click on this and it will show what's wrong here you can see preview.jpg does not exist right because i i had left that knowingly so that i can show you if you leave something then what will show and where you can find the error in magento okay so now let's uh, use it and then get back to our theme so once again we will go to app then design front end then tutorial is then simple and then theme.xml file because we don't have this one that is why we are getting error so what do i do just go to here and create a folder called media media and then create a folder and then preview.jpg so that will be your themes preview let me check if i have any okay just i'm checking this one so now inside this preview.jpg exist right now let me open this once again and yes now there is no error so now after this we'll go to content and then themes and here wow well, you can see our theme is available here now if you want to uh, activate this theme then go to configure and then i go to main website and currently it's luma selected i will select our own newly created theme we'll save configuration that's it and then let's do one more thing let's clear the cache and then we will check the front now close widget tokens so now let's go to the home page now you will see not much difference because everything has been copied from there only but this theme is our newly created theme and in this you can see there is no home page this is blank home page and also there is no logo etc etc because this is just copy of our blank theme so if you want to show here logo also you can do this going to here 
teams. And then click on view. Now, okay, so team preview is here. Alright, now let's do one more thing. Let's go here. And then create more folder like web. So let's get back to. No, we had already opened that folder. No? Yes. So this is your blank thing. Right? So apart from these files, we will also copy this web. So this time, compress it, and then let's go here. And I'll upload that. Did I download this? No, I need to download that. Okay, so let's check downloading this remember I'm downloading this from our core theme okay and now I will upload this into our newly created theme so this is this is the one web just let extract it So what's inside this let's check if you go to web then you will find css images and js file there are three files available so if you want to keep the logo here also css and inside css there are different css here and then source is a less file here so these are the files inside our web folder and one more on one more theme one more file i will download and this is magento theme let's take this one also so compress it and then let's download and I'll upload this one also in our newly created theme folder so this is the editor theme folder now let's extract it here so these are the required files for this inside magento theme in the layout if you check then this is the xml file so here you will see these are the css file that we are including this is m for mobile and this for larger screen right and print.css which is available in our web folder okay so this is the, our configuration file so if you want to change the style sheet name or if you want to add more style sheet you can add from here and you can upload that css into that folder now if you want to make any design changes for example if you refresh it say I want to change the design of this head this, this one right so its ID is store dot menu Or this navigation okay so class name is navigation I want to change the navigation color or background so what I will do I will go here and then go to pub then static then front end and automatically you can see tutorial race folder has been created inside this also this theme name and inside this ENG 
and now you go to CSS folder and then this is our CSS for desktop version so let's find here if this exists okay what I'll do I will just overwrite this from here somewhere so background color yellow important right Now let's save it and then try to open here if the background color changes or not. As you can see, it's not changed. Now we'll flush this cache. And also let's inspect this. And you will see this is our file name, right? I will right click on this and control R, press control R and see if our CSS has come. Yes, now our CSS is displaying here. So now refresh it. Menu didn't change here. This is shape again. Yes, actually it was not refreshed, so I just control shift R that means refreshed it. You can see the design has been changed. So guys, this way you can change the design as well. So that's it in this video. In the next video or the next video, I will show more customization in the theme. So in this video, you have learned how to create your own custom theme in Magento easily. So thank you for watching.